everyone and welcome. My name is Heather and today here at the Houston Zoo throughout the whole month of July, we are celebrating Plastic Free July. And today we're celebrating it with our two North American River Otters, Jack, which is two years old, and Belle, which is 14. North American River Otters are semi-aquatic, which means you can find them thriving on land and in water. You can find them in swamps, wetlands, lakes, and rivers. Now, North American river otters are great at hunting in the murky waters because look at those long whiskers. They can use those to detect vibrations of their favorite prey, such as crawfish, amphibians, and fish. Here at the Houston Zoo, their diet can vary from trout, herring, capelin, ground meat, and rib bones. Rib bones are excellent to give our North American river otters because rib bones act as natural nature's natural toothbrush. That's right, our otters brush their teeth just like you do. Now, North American river otters are super strong swimmers. That big long tail and that web feet helps them steer themselves through the water, as well as that nice thick coat. That thick coat is water resistant. It's almost like a raincoat. So while they're swimming in those colder waters, it helps them stay nice and warm. But having a water repellent coat takes a lot of grooming. So you'll see otters grooming themselves or each other for hours throughout the day. North American river otters are not endangered. Their population status is stable. Again, you can find them all over North America in swamps, rivers, lakes, and wetlands. And believe me, friends, when I say right here in our own backyard, Houston, Texas, you can find North American river otters in Lake Conroe and High Island. North American river otters do not mate for life. Our two, Belle and Jack, are not related. Uh, so far, no babies yet, friends. But they are not, again, they are not related. Jack is two and Belle is 14. So today they're getting a, their diet for today is capelin and ground meat. Sometimes for fun, we like to throw in some carrots in there. Yes, they do love their carrots. North American river otters are super social and they communicate in different ways with vocalizations such as growls, screams, and grunts, but as well as body posture and scent glands that are located at the base of their tail that produces a very strong musky odor. Kimberly, hello. Do they have a mini, ri mini river in their habitat? They do, they have a very small like waterfall. Um, and at the top of that waterfall is a deeper pool. So the North American river otters, again, remember they're great at swimming. They can hold their breaths up to eight minutes as well as close their nose and their ears to keep any water or debris out. Their closest relative, that is a very good question. It would be the weasel. They're the closest relative to the weasel. Yes, North American river otters love to play. You'll see them playing with each other all day here in the children's zoo, chasing each other on land, in the water, down the waterfall, and underneath their bridge. We're gonna take Belle to the water. Belle! Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Oh, she likes our friends with the camera. So this is their deeper pool. Right here is the fallen log where they have, where it's almost like a bridge. They can swim underneath it. They really like this pool. This pool is a great way for them to get exercise. So all those little air pockets that you see are just being released from their coat. They're this, uh, because they have a two layered coat. The bottom coat is super thick and warm and fluffy, almost like cotton. 
And that top coat, again, is like that raincoat. It keeps that bottom fluffy coat super dry. They can hold their breath up to eight minutes. So as you can see, as he's playing around with his piece of fish, he can hold his breath for a very long time. So, North American, Carrie, welcome Carrie, North American River Otters, can they jump? They can jump, but they're not great climbers, and they can't jump very high. It's just a few inches off the ground. They're better at swimming with that big, strong tail and those webbed feet. They're excellent swimmers. And they sure do love their pool here in this Texas heat. The pool is definitely their favorite. So Belle is two, I mean Belle is 14 and Jack is two. They are both North American river otters. Chris, so are they shy or do they love attention? Great question. So it depends on the day. Sometimes they're all around their keepers wanting to train, wanting to, wanting to interact with enrichment and sometimes they just want to do their own thing and hang out and be on their own, which is okay. We try to allow our animals to have variety here at the Houston Zoo, as well as uh, manipulate and control their own environment. Great questions, friends. Melissa, what enrichment do you guys give? Oh. This is fantastic, I love enrichment. So for our North American river otters, I like to give them something that re represents almost like a kelp forest. Jack that you can see here in our video, loves to swim around it, swim in it, hide in it, and try to ambush Bell. Uh, we also like to give them puzzle feeders. This will allow them to forage for any diet that we uh, provide for them for the day. Um, as well as any fun little toys that sink to the bottom and they like to carry them around. Well, thank you everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are super excited to be celebrating Plastic Free July with you. And remember, you can help save North American river otters and celebrate Jack Plastic Free July with us by simply reusing reusable water bottles or using your reusable shopping bag. Now, every time you visit the Houston Zoo, you help save animals in the wild. Oh, one last question, Dawn. Is 14 old? Is she a senior? Yes. So Belle is an older lady. 14 is fairly old for a North American river otter. But Jack keeps her young and keeps her super playful and feisty. She's still down here. 